You're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby-trapped the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die, and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm gonna be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. Here we go! is restored. Worth it, then. Go home. Maggie. I should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into Space Time 6. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? 
Can I go into space time six and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. It's beautiful. A guy could get lost here real easy. No. No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. But we will have a life before we die. Every past and future. I can see them all, but which one is real? Go back now, human. friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! I have brought you a gift. Maggie, Brink, you're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie, I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Boston. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. You did it, Flo. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor, because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people. Strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you, and you have much to share with us as well. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. Oh, I know that. All young species are alike that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, we'll mash them like bugs. How reassuring. The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people, that's Maggie's job. And getting us home, that was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston Low.